In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to process subcontractor payments within the CIS utility of BrightPay. Please note, BrightPay's construction industry scheme utility is only available to standard and bureau license holders only. BrightPay caters for the processing of weekly and monthly subcontractor payments. Both pay frequencies can be operated at any time within the same company dataset. To begin, simply select CIS followed by Payments on the menu toolbar. All subcontractors for the pay frequency selected will be listed in a summary view. To edit a subcontractor's pay, simply click on the subcontractor name. If the subcontractor is to be paid a basic gross, enter the amount in the field provided. Click the spanner icon next to this if you wish to perform a net to gross calculation change departmental weighting or wish to delete it. If a subcontractor is hourly paid, the default rate entered in the subcontractor record will be displayed. If this rate still applies, enter the number of hours required. To add more pay items, click the Add button and select whether you wish to add a weekly pay amount, a daily pay amount or another hourly rate. To amend an hourly rate, click on the drop-down menu and select an option from the list. To enter a new hourly rate, select Add Additional Hourly Rate and type in the amount and description desired. If a subcontractor is daily paid, the default rate entered in the subcontractor record will be displayed. If this rate still applies, enter the number of days required. To add more pay items, click the Add button and select whether you wish to add a weekly pay amount, an hourly pay amount, or another daily rate. To amend a daily rate, click on the drop-down menu and select an option from the list. To enter a new daily rate, select Add Additional Daily Rate and type in the amount and description desired. Next, enter any cost of materials and VAT relevant to the subcontractor in the pay period. To add an addition to the subcontractor's payment, click on the Add button within the Additions and Deductions section. If applicable, select a preset addition from the list and enter the desired amount. To add a further addition, repeat this process. If you wish to add an addition which is not available in the preset list, simply access the Employer Utility, select Addition Types and set up the addition you require. Once the addition has been set up, return to your CIS payment screen to continue. If you wish to reorder any additions, an ordering function is available by clicking the spanner icon next to the amount field. To include a deduction for the subcontractor, click on the Add button within the Additions and Deductions section. Select a preset option from the list and enter the amount desired. If you wish to add a deduction which is not available in the preset list, simply access the employer utility, select deduction types and set up the deduction you require. Once the deduction has been set up, return to your CIS payment screen to continue. If you wish to reorder any deductions, an ordering function is again available by clicking the spanner icon next to the amount field. As payments are entered, these will be reflected to the right of the screen. To edit a subcontractor's payment settings, an Edit Settings button is available on the subcontractor's payment screen. Settings which can be edited within this screen are the subcontractor's CIS details, their departmental association, as well as their rates and payment details. After completing a subcontractor's pay, either return to the Summary view by clicking on the Tab button to the left of the screen or simply select a subcontractor from the listing to edit the next subcontractor's pay. Once subcontractor's payment details have been entered for the period, click Finalise Payments on the menu bar. The Finalise Payments screen will indicate the period being finalised and the pay date. Should you wish to amend the pay date, enter in the desired date or choose from the calendar. By default, all subcontractors included in the pay period will be marked for updating. If you wish to update all subcontractors at the same time, simply click on OK. 
Alternatively, if you only wish to finalise payments for some of the subcontractors, that is to update only those that are receiving a payment, untick any subcontractors who you do not wish to include in the update and click OK. These subcontractors can be updated at a later time if applicable. After clicking OK, the pay period will be displayed again. A green tick will be displayed next to a subcontractor's name to indicate that their payment for this period has been finalised. Please note, going forward, select the pay period in which you are next due to make a payment to any subcontractor. Unlike Brightpay's payroll utility, there is no requirement to finalise each pay period in the CIS utility when you have no subcontractors to pay. If, for example, you have subcontractors to pay in week 1, but no further payments to make until week 10, finalise week 1 accordingly and simply select week 10 on the payments bar when ready. Likewise, there is no requirement to finalise zero paid subcontractors each pay period. Only finalise those subcontractors who are receiving a payment. If a subcontractor receives a payment in week 1, for example, but doesn't receive a payment again until week 5, there is no requirement to finalise him for weeks 2 to 4. Any subcontractor paid under deduction must be furnished with a payment and deduction statement. To print, email or export a subcontractor's payment and deduction statement, within Payments, select P&D Statements on the menu bar, followed by your choice of output. Select the subcontractors you wish to generate the statements for and click Print, Email or Export accordingly. In order to assist users in paying their subcontractors, a dedicated reporting and bank payment file facility is available in BrightPay. After finalising your pay period in CIS, simply select Pay Subcontractors on the menu toolbar. Here you will find a cash payments and check payments breakdown as well as the facility to create a bank file in order to pay subcontractors by credit transfer. CIS reporting is also facilitated within the analysis utility of BrightPay. Here you will find preset CIS reports for your use, or you can create your own CIS reports under New followed by CIS Report.